Welcome back to PGA Chain Design. I have done one Cuban link before, but uh, finding out this is another type is quite interesting how they interlock each other. So I would like to talk about this in this Rhino 6 JuryCat tutorial. Are you ready? Let's get started. There's a one Cuban link that I have done before. I will put the link on the right top corner. Uh, you can look at that one as well. It's a different way of uh, construction. Today we are going to talk about this and the way it is interlock each other and how we actually calculate this one. So that's starting from the scratch. We're coming at the top view and I actually want to make this link pretty big. Um, so those kind of really hip hop style heavy uh, chain on it and um, it's been using a lot for uh, men's jewelry so I think this is a great way to talk about this piece and then um, what I wanted to do is making an offset on this one um, roughly about quarter size of whatever length that is going to be so that let me guess I'm going to maybe have seven Okay, and so what we wanted to see is the inside in between this point and this point, it's just a little bit bigger than, than here to here. Because when you have a link going each other, you want to make sure that you have enough space. It's not blocking each other. In this case, we kind of blocking it. So I might just need to enlarge this back a little bit and double make sure that that will work. Like this one, you have a room. Uh, so you have one on the left, one on the right. So they will have some room there. Okay. Now we have this. We need to create a profile. Personally, I um, always like to use the colony corners. And we want to with, uh, stay with the three point. So let me uh, snap it into point one, point two. And we're going to come up for whatever how tall you wanted to have. And moving your mouse back so they will have a little bit like round edges there. Let's go ahead to uh, move it back to the center. So that's snapping here to here. And then so that will be in the center. All right. So to making the first of a link, I would like to use the sweep to rail. You got rail one, rail two cross section. And you got that link there. To calculate it correctly, we need to kind of see where is the next one. So the next one will be roughly somewhere here. So I'm going to make a um, duplication there and you can see where it's connected, right? So we need to make this space open. The easy way to do is coming over here with the curve. You have the curve on the object and you want an intersection between this one and this one. It kind of gives us a line there. I'm going to uh, turn the line into the red color. So you know what I'm see saying here. We need to have this opening there, allow this link to be there. Okay. So the next things I'm going to just delete that one. The next things is how we going to have an opening there. Um, Basically, I'm going to connect it in between this point to this point and maybe just have them a little bit longer, something like that. And of course, you are not going to contact it like 100% there because you need a little bit room there. So that is where the opening is going to be. And on this side, the problem is going to be something like this and I'm just going to making a copy. So we kind of, uh, let me turn this into the uh, green color. So it's kind of getting some idea for where the section is going to be. Okay. So to cut it out, I would like to use exactly the same profile that we have here. So let's go ahead to make this into the solid, um, straight, something like this. Okay. And I kind of want this come back to the center. So we are going to use a line tool back to the center and I'm going to tilt it a little bit. Notice that this is a little bit too small. We need to make it wider. So I'm going to coming over here, just a uh, 3d scale, make them a little bit wider. So that will kind of uh, touching those two, um, green line that I have there. Okay. So then, uh, maybe I need to move it down a little bit like this. Okay. 
and we also want to do a test and see if that is working well so i'm going to move this one up and close almost to half of them and that's where we are going to uh, cut it open the other one is actually on the bottom and it's 90 degree difference so i'm going to mirror that to the other side first and this one need to be mirror again to the bottom and I can delete the one on the top. Okay, so it's kind of getting the idea for how we're going to cut this one. So let's do a test. We are going to boolean different this out of those two color and we'll get the shape like this. Okay, and um, we are going to do a test and see if that work well. Let's take a look on the top view and I wanted to move it right there. You can see the corner is like slightly blocking, but that's okay because uh, we are going to make them a little bit rounder, right? So if that work out fine for you, we are going to giving a fillet and maybe the profile that I have to start with is a little bit uh, too square. Maybe I need to make it a little bit rounder. All right. But it's for this demonstration, I'm going to keep going. So we are going to use the fillet edges. And I want something a little bit bigger. So maybe uh, 1.5 and see how that goes. So we are, we are going to select for all of them and hit enter. And 1.5 is a little bit too big. So let's try 0.5 and see how that goes. All right, so I um, will suggest the profile you start with. You, the one I have here is like really square. Maybe you want to get rid of a corner more. So then you will have a, a better fillet over there. All right, so now um, if everything work out fine for you, we're going to make it into the chain. So let's go ahead to using the linear array and we are going to array from here and kind of eyeball it where this is going to be and for something like that. So let's take a look on the render view and all of them will locking nicely over there. And that will be our Cuban chain number two. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment. Let me know how you like it and share my video. That will be great help for me as a small YouTuber. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next.